What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at the newest deck release by the Organic Playing Cards crew. That's right. We're going to be looking at the Slicers Playing Cards. So, buckle in your seatbelts. We're going there. Let's go. The Slicer's Playing Cards is the newest addition to the Organic Playing Cards family. Designed by Cam Toner and Nate Lex, this deck is sure to be with you at every outing. The front of the tuck box is meant to kind of look like a wooden carton or even like a side of a picnic basket. It's going to have that wood design there and it's going to say Organic Orchard Slicers looking like it's burnt in to that wood. It's going to say picked fresh since 2017 and it's going to have a red tablecloth draped over the top. There's no other kind of text font and nothing until you get to the back where you're going to see that design carry around and a little worm peeking out of a hole. The bottom of the tuck box is going to feature some ad copy about Ripple Shuffle and organic playing cards. There's no tuck seal and that same plaid red tablecloth drapes along the whole top. This deck does come printed by the United States Playing Card Company on their premium B stock. It does have a modern cut and an air cushion embossed and this is a limited edition run of only 3,000 decks printed. The back design on the deck is very minimalistic with medium white poker borders, great for fans and other flourishes. You're going to see this nice bright red colorway. You're going to see a full bodied apple this time compared to the usual sliced in half fruit that they usually go with. It's going to be a bright green color making that red pop even more. Organic is always known for adding some extras into their deck. This time around, they added a duplicate seven of clubs. That's right, a duplicate card is always good to have on hand just in case you gotta bust out your favorite magic effects or more. The next card you're going to receive is going to be a blank facer. Blank facer is always good for writing messages and things like I always say. The last two cards you're going to receive are going to be your duplicate and original jokers. This time around they have a enlarged green apple on the middle there like we saw from the back design. It's going to say joker in each of the left and bottom right corners in a stylized font. The pips and indices in this deck are still pretty much a standard deck. That's right, the only difference is that there is a big recoloring as well as a stylization going on. The reds are still red, but where the blacks and the spades and clubs are, it's been replaced with that same green from the apple. The quartz in this deck are also your industry standard besides that same recoloring as I've mentioned earlier. Where the blues and yellows are used to being, they're replaced with reds and greens. You're also going to see, as well in organic fashion, your court cards doing cool things with different apple themes, such as apple juice, apple cider, apple pie, or even just taking a bite out of an apple, or enjoying a candy apple. Regardless, this is a very fun deck. Same thing goes for the aces in this deck until we get over to the more prominent of the aces. You're going to see that same green color in the blacks like I said earlier. This time around instead of a spade pip you're going to see a big apple tree in the shape of a spade pip there in the center. And it's going to say slicers underneath. That's all I can say about this deck. Enjoy and join me for my final thoughts. All right, so my final thoughts on this deck. Three out of five. Three out of five. That's it. Um, this one just fell short. Um, and let me tell you why. Not saying anything bad, right? Average score, three, right in the middle of the road, right? Nothing to be upset about. And if so, it's my opinion anyway. <laughs> but anyway, the reason I give it a three out of five is, like I said, this, is, this feels so 
so apples to apples, right? Very apples to apples. Um, and it's not saying it's a bad thing, but also the other thing that I really didn't like is they went away, they kind of shunned away from what they're do what you know what they're used to as far as that cut in half fruit dripping down the card that's it right they went too minimal this time right and like i've said before they are the kings of minimalism you know what i mean when it comes to minimalism they have it to a t because the back of the card is very minimal but then the deck the, the tuck itself in the courts with the fruits and blah, blah they kill it right i mean this is amazing just the aesthetic of this this whole tuck it makes you want to buy it. it makes you want to eat it right but unfortunately like i said the back design itself just it just it's not the business i wanted that half cut apple where you can see the seeds and it they didn't do that why they shunned away from that i don't know i we probably never will know um i mean the good thing is i will say congrats they did sell out of the deck so they did something right and that's great kudos but just not for me um but like I said, otherwise, I mean, the other subtle details, like I said, with the courts and everything in between. And, and like I said, I love what Organic is doing. I, I will continue to back their decks probably forever. Um, but this one just, just wasn't there. So, but like I said, it is a good deck. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not saying it's trash or anything like that. It's just, just not what they usually are. So... I am looking forward to seeing what they do next time, um, just like every other time after that. And yeah, I'm sure they'll uh, they'll they'll give us some redemption, to say the least. So that's all I can say about this deck. Uh, I'll link everything down below for you guys can check out Organic Plant Cards, sign up for their newsletter, things like that. Like I said, this deck is unfortunately sold out. Um, I do believe they have some other products as well as Riffle Shuffle uh, that you can check out, um, you know, deals around the holidays, stay up to date with everything, and so on and so forth. So, that's it. So, if you enjoyed this review, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you beautiful people on the next one.